Hey, it's Pete, GCI Turf. Hope you're doing good. And got something I want to show you. Well, I'll show you in a minute. Let's talk about the grass. So, if you're one of those guys that or gals that you could care less about the yard, then don't pay any attention to what I'm talking about. Just you can watch and have fun watching. I don't know. This is for the guy or gal that may be starting mowing and is curious to know how you get the stripes in the yard and how you uh, make straight lines and how you mow. I mean, not everybody knows how to mow. Uh, believe me, I know, because we ride up down the street every day and I see people that don't know how to mow. So that's what this vid's gonna be about. All right, this is what is called a right stander ZK, uh, 29 horsepower fuel injected engine. It's the biggest engine they offer, 52 inch deck. Uh, we made a switch this year. Uh, I've been with another brand for a very long time and I made the switch. So um, I'm gonna actually keep one of these at my yard, at my house. This is my personal mower now. Um, you have been used to seeing the X mark walk behind and it has went to the shop. So uh, this is what you'll see me doing my mowing with. Occasionally, <clears throat> you will see me do the mowing with this because I'm curious to know a little bit more about this. And of course, uh, the reason we went with the right walk behind is strictly because I was sold on that. And I'm a OCD guy, I like it to match. So that's why we got two yellow mowers and not one red and one yellow. Uh, I know, I, I got issues, but it's okay. Uh, we'll get over that. But anyway, <clears throat> first thing you need to do when mowing is you determine your mowing height. That's very important. Now, let me show you what I got over here. This is a very nice, lush, tall fescue yard. It prefers to be tall. That's why it's named Tall Fescue. Kind of like that's a white truck. It describes that truck. Well, the name Tall describes this type of grass. So it likes to be tall. So if you have a mower that can't cut it tall, Tall Fescue may not be the grass you need. Or you may need a different mower. Uh, one of the two. Um, we just have so much trouble or so many issues with folks cutting the grass way too short. So I, that's the only reason I'm stressing that and, and really stressing it hard. Okay, so this is a big deal. This is where the confusion happens all the time. Folks get their mower and they look right here and they say, oh, let's go down here and let's put it on setting number four. And that's gotta be four inches. Well, not necessarily. I've got it on that setting. You can see these little eyelets right here. The pin goes in those eyelets and I've got it on the setting so that it's at four inches. Well, look at here. What do you know? Four inches. That one happens to be right. Now, when we go over here and check Mr. ZK, you can see here I've got this one also on the four inch mark. So according to the number right here on this gauge, it's supposed to be at four inches. Well, what do you know? Look at there. That's at least, that's about four and a quarter in between four and four and a half. Will a quarter inch really matter? Uh, not really. But I would much rather it be off in high, uh, up high than down low. Meaning, if it read four inches, I don't want it to actually cut three and three quarter. I would much rather it cut four and a quarter. So that gives it a little room to play there. So I'm good with that. I'm gonna talk you through this on the ground and then we're gonna go to the GCI drone and actually show you the mowing. If the drone is laying there today, oh my gosh, it's windy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put virgin stripes in the yard, meaning this is the first time I've cut the grass. This will also give you an idea 
did that uh, light mower for the strike worth the hill of beans. So I'm going to mow the yard this way, straight to the uh, to the house. And since I have a zero turn and I can make my turns, I'm going to start on the far left side with my lines. And when I do that, I'm also going to start and make my first pass a short pass. It's much easier to get a straight line in a short distance than if I started here and tried to drive all the way out there, I'm sure my, my line would get a little crooked at some point. So I'm gonna make a short line and then feed off of that line all the way over. All right, so the next reason, why do I start on the left? Well, I start on the left, so when I go down, I make my turn and come back this way. Well, why is that important? Well, that's important to me because it keeps me from throwing grass in the beds. Because if I go this way and turn left, my discharge is gonna whoop, throw it all up in the beds and that's just kind of not a huge deal right now because I haven't put my pine needles down. But once I put my needles down, that's gonna be a very big deal. So I'm gonna start on the left, go straight, make my turn to the right, come back down. Same thing, right, come back down and, until I get all the way across the entire yard. Now, for those of you who have baggers or you mulch your clippings, then you don't have to pay any attention to anything I just said because you don't have to worry about throwing clippings in the bed, right? The thing I am a fan of is a straight line, okay? Now, obviously, uh, those are brand new mowers that have never seen a grass blade, so I'm not expecting them to be super straight. Uh, I'm gonna give it my best. But what I mean by that is what I do, opposite of the straight line is I know you've seen the guys that ride in circles, mow in a circle, mow in a circle, and they throw all their clippings in one spot. Uh, you can't do that with a high-end yard just can't do it you want the clippings that come out of the deck to be evenly dispersed over the entire yard you don't want to leave chunks and clumps and crap all in the grass that stuff mats the turf down and will choke it out man look at here let me show you this is that poor trivialis nope that's tall fescue get back here and look at it. Now, what happened, and I had a lot of local comments uh, within our company and a lot of emails about what the heck, man? Well, one thing in common that everybody did is they cut their grass and then we got that hard frost and that kind of stunted some areas of fescue. You can see I got one there, there. That's fescue, that's not trivialis. I still have my four clumps of trivialis in the backyard, uh, that's fescue. All that's fescue, let, let, let the ground warm up a little bit and the heat kick in, all that'll heal up on its own. All right, so the one thing I want you to pay attention to when I'm doing this mow, and you'll be watching it from up top, is my system, meaning uh, how I turn around, uh, how I line the mower up, that kind of thing. And uh, hey, let's talk about stripes. I'm getting ready to learn if those right mowers stripe uh, as well as the previous brand. Now, of course, I'm not expecting a ton out of it with one cut because if you, you watch the previous mowing video, I will mow two, way, two, two times this way, then I will rotate it two times that way, rotate it two times that way. So in six weeks, on the seventh week, I get back to this stripe. So it takes me a few cuts to get the grass trained to get it lay right. Well, I know you're asking, well, Mr. Pete, you mowed it this way last time. Why can't you mow it that way for the second time? Well, this is a 48 inch wide mower deck. That's a 52 inch wide mower deck. I'm one of those guys that with a 52 inch deck, I use 51 inches of the deck. I don't take a 48 inch deck and use, oh, excuse me, I don't take a 52 inch deck and use 42 inches of it. That sounds weird, but I know folks that do. 
they don't they don't maximize their mower deck that's the whole reason you buy the mowers with a wider deck so it saves you time so that's why i'm i'm, I'm gonna let these stripes kind of go away and heal up uh if you may for lack of better words in about four or five weeks then i'll cut it long ways this way and these stripes will be gone i can put fresh 52 stripes in it those mower blades the vacuum that mower creates sucks that grass up cuts it clean and then tilts it that way just a little bit tilts it as you're going this way it tilts it forward when you get over here and you come this way you're tilting it back toward this way if that makes any sense so you're looking at it with the grain against the grain with the grain against the grain and the reflection of the sunlight against those two different grains or those two different directions of grain is what actually produces that white and dark line It'll make a, a very clear point these are commercial mowers joe Smo homeowner typically isn't going to go out and spend that kind of money for one of these we do it for a living so we have to have them and i've just been fortunate enough and blessed enough to be in a situation to where i can have one at my house i'm very grateful and thankful for that but the point is if you have one of those riding tractor type mowers the john deers the I don't even know the names of all of them. Craftsmen, you, you most of the time have a handle on the side that you will reach and you will pull back. And usually the setting is gonna be between one and five for the most part. When you put it on five, that does not mean you're cutting your grass at five inches. That means you're on setting five. I just proved that with a high quality, high end commercial type machine and it's even off. When it says four inches over here, but I'm actually four and a quarter on the ground. That one happens to be right. This one isn't right. No big deal. The point is, you have to have this. Well, I mean, you don't have to have this, but you have to have a ruler or a measuring type device, measuring stick, ruler, tape measure, and measure. Pull that mower deck as high as it'll go on your mower, crawl up under there like I just did, measure it and see how high your mower actually cuts. Of course, don't do that in the grass. Measure it on a nice flat level surface so you get a good accurate measurement. good rule of thumb when you're cutting the yard you can see here's my cut line hopefully you can see the difference if we're mowing it four inches you only typically want to cut one third of that off at a time so i'm cutting in between one inch and roughly two inches roughly i'd say it's more like one inch to an inch and a half is what I'm actually removing from the yard. So let's do the math, roughly. It, you know, it's not, technically it's not rocket science, it's science so you don't have to be super close, but let's get it somewhat close. All right, so let's look at our total height. We're somewhere around five to five and a half inches, roughly, so give or take, something like that. So that means, I know the UPS guy just rode by and see him, sees me on my hands and feet out here with a phone. I know he thinks I'm a dang fool, right? 
anyway uh, <laughs> so get on track we're five five and a half inches so if I take a third of that that's roughly gonna be about an inch to an inch and a half roughly that puts me down to my four inch mark look at that isn't that pretty all right so one thing I think I'd have to say I am uh, hmm I'm trying to figure out what to call it uh, I don't know if I'm disappointed if I'm confused if I'm uh, surprised I I don't know which word to use here but my other mower my red mower never done that what my red mower did was more like this where it dispersed and scattered the clippings much better but look at this this is really interesting now, i don't know if it's got to do with the time of the year we're in it just rained yesterday but that's strange how that grass builds up under the deck like this and clumps as it comes out instead of it being scattered uniformly down through here it makes it much easier to blow it's going to take me extra time to get this crap up out of the road now so uh hmm i think i'm going to give someone a call and find out what's going on now here's a prime example of what you do not want to leave in the yard see i made my turn when i made my turn ah uh, this is um I don't know if I'm disappointed or what. Um, that's a lot of money to spend on a lawnmower that does this and the, uh, this is more than likely has to do with the time of the year it is. It's growing vigorously, blah, blah, that kind of thing. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna be patient. The, you know, the, the new paint up under the deck, maybe grabbing the clippings and making them stick under the deck maybe, uh, but we'll, uh, We'll give it a little time, see what happens. decided to make the change now this you can see this stand on does the same thing but I, I honestly and truly believe that's because of the time of the year we're in so I'm just gonna come out here with a little rake <clears throat> rake this up in a little bag it's just a few little spots get all this up because you don't want to leave that on the yard if you leave that on the yard it will mat down in the grass and leave a little dead spot. Big time no-no. Man, I'm excited. I wanted to try these new machines out, so uh, there you go. I gave it a run. Cuts pretty good. I think we're gonna like them. Say like and subscribe and do all that cool stuff. Have a good day, I'll check you later. <laughs>